All right, y'all, what's going on? It is the day after the initial breakdown of the car teardown. To give you guys a quick rundown, I was a little bit too impatient yesterday, so I didn't get through all the things you need, but um, this video, I'll post it in the beginning of the whole video so you guys will know. You guys do need all of these items. Uh, let me show you guys my Google Drive real quick. Look, manual swap here. Okay, this is what you guys need. You guys probably don't need a manual cluster, but I got one. These are all junkyard prices, except the tranny and the shift cable and shifter box. I got these two from a guy from Facebook Marketplace. This is from junkyard. This is from junkyard. This is from eBay. eBay, junkyard, junkyard, junkyard. Uh, manual starters coming with tranny. It was free. ECU, I don't think I'm gonna get an ECU, I'm just gonna solder some things, nuts and bolts, gotta go buy some, shift boot and shift knob. This is all you basically need right here. Oh, and transmission mounts. And that's it. I'm gonna link the video to Switch Life Garage, okay? Before you come watch my video, go watch his video. It's very informational. This video will be just a quick rundown on my process. Yo, what's up everyone? So today we're gonna start the manual swap project. We got the prelude right here. Automatic right now, but uh, we got the axles right there. Um, the tranny's coming in. This might be like a two-part video, but we're just gonna start what we can now because I got school in like a month and I got small in a month and I really need to get this done. So we're just gonna start taking shit off and doing whatever to the car. Got the handyman, Alex, the mechanic. Got Dill, the strong man right the there. Caravan. <laughs> and then we're just about to fix this up. I'll give you guys more update on all the things you need to fix or to swap your pit. It is super hot today. It's about 100 degrees in Sacramento, California. But first, um, because we don't have all the things, we're gonna make things that are a lot easier for us. So we're gonna take off the seats first. Let's go. Um, taking off the seats, man. <laughs> I'm going the right way. So my man Dale is currently removing the seats. I went to go grab something. Now he's in here. We're gonna move the seats so we can get better access to the brakes and all that stuff. So first we're gonna remove all the interior out. Maybe remove that thing. Maybe the cluster. I have the manual cluster over there. We're gonna do that and hopefully we get it done today. All right, so for the seats, there was two, what, two 12? 14. Two 14 bolts up front there. Two in the back, and now we're gonna remove the seats now. Make sure you organize and put all your nuts in the bag, seat nuts. Let's go. All right, so right now we're about to take off the other side, just so we can have access to the center console. So yeah, four, four, four bolts. bolts. All right, so Dylan right now is trying to choke. We got a pass right here, wasp. Wasp. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> run, dude. <laughs> um, oh, that's one, that's one. I saw five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like ten. Oh, shit, get out of there, bro. Just get out of there. Oh, one, deal. Right there, right there. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> Oh, Alex is just not phased. <laughs> All right, so update after fighting the bees, we are taking. Ooh, look how much trash there is here, dude. Ooh, got it. Did you get one? Okay, we are going to clean this and um, take out the center console now. We removed the seats. Now we're taking out the center console. My man Alex here is gonna give you the rundown of how to take it off the center console. All right, so the center console got at least four bolts on each side. So you see one right there. All right, that's one. And three right here. It'll be the same with the other side. Right there. Right there. So, yep. Take out the console. And then after that, we'll start messing with the automatic stuff right there. You see that? It's about to be manual soon. All right, so they took off the eight bolts all on this side. Now Look at it. this. Lift this bitch up. Oh. Now she just come right off. What about the um the wires and stuff? You gotta disconnect. 
some of the wire. Well, actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, you do have another boat. Should be right there. Right yeah. Four head. Alright, so we forgot one more bolt. So it's actually ten bolts. Ten bolts. Huh. Yeah. Alright, we got one. Now we gotta do the other side. Now the other side is actually off already. Oh, it's off already? Yeah. Pull that, pull that joint out. Pull the joint out. Pull that joint out. Yeah. Actually, first, let's take off the sh. Oh. I think you can still put that on your manual, huh? Alex is giving that thing the hand oh, job 3000. <laughs> it should come right off. Sheesh! Oh. That big gone. Now we have access to the shift box. And then, uh, I don't know what to do from here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll update you guys after we figure out what to do. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta unplug one, two, three, and four harness off of it. And after that, we use a flathead, put it through these gap right here so it can take off the, the automatic thing right here. Look, look at this, bro. Easy as it is, bro. Oh. Water break first. I guess I'll give it as water, bro. No, nah, it's water break first. Right, here. It's like cold water, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're now we take off all the plug. Just use it like that. So right now we're taking off the Take automatic out. thing right here. Box. Yep. So we gotta slowly so it won't break. Nothing won't break. Just like that. Just like that it is off. Yep. Oh, one more clip. Just like that. Just like that, my boy. Manual. Wow. Manual. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. What the hell was that, bro? Oh. <laughs> Throw that shit away. Come on, all the boys get out of here. <laughs> and after that, now we take off the shift linkage. Shift linkage and the four bolt right here that's holding on to this whole automatic thing right here. These four bolt are tow bolt. Uh. And then this one right here, the shift shift linkage to automatic should be a 17 bolt right here. Okay. Yep. Can I get a four bolt? Can I get a yes, daddy? Yes, daddy. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. I got stain. The stall? Just got here, bro. Oh, it's salt. <laughs> give me salt. Is it? You need salt? Salt what? Gotta take this off. All right, so we took off the automatic shift box. That's got stung, bro. That's stung by the bees. Oh, I see it now. Where are we? It's right here. It's coming up. All right, so you see that white right there? Okay. No. We got our next fighter, Sal. He about to go kill them walls. Right there by the door, bro. <laughs> Smack that ass, boy. Double team them. Right here, watch. Oh. Hey, watch this triple kill right here. Triple kill. Oh. Get off me. All right, so right now we're about to take off the brake pedal. You remember the automatic brake pedal right here. They have like at least one plug. The one plug is uh right there. If you can see, and there should be four bolt. Hold on to the brake pedal that's behind it. This you can see two bolt already. And then the other bolt should be on the other side. But the only way we can take off the other side bolt is by taking off this plastic cover. So this cover right here. Uh, it have a little, um, you can call this brace or something like that. You can pop it off. There's two of them. So it's like one right here and then two right here. So yes, I'm gonna get started on that. Pop that thing off and then I'll show you guys what's the other uh, bolt at. Alright, I'll show you guys. So I just took off for ventilation. So I just took off the dust cover. So now, you can see the bolt now like what I was saying. So there's four bolt right there. No, the other bolt's right here. <laughs> the two bolt. There's a tub bolt that's up there too. Let me kind of face the camera. It might be kind of weird. So you see that bolt right there? That gold bolt, the tub bolt right there. So I need to take off that and the four bolt that I was showing you guys earlier. After that, I have to take out the cotton pin. You see the cotton pin right there. My boy, boy Poppy Chulo just came. About to go to work. Yeah. work Alright, so Alex just successfully took off the auto brake now let me show you the difference between these two but uh, there's a big difference between the automatic brake pedal and the manual 
brake pedal. Bam, look. This is the automatic brake pedal, and this is the manual brake pedal. You see the size difference? With this, you'll have a lot more room with the clutch pedal. And this, I know, man. Maybe you can. For example, if this was the clutch pedal, maybe you can try and fit the automatic brake. You know, you could try to fit them both in the small tight spot, but I don't think you can because the footrest is right here. So your clutch pedal will be going in like this. Right next to you, and your feet probably go like this. So I'm trying to hit the feet booster or whatever. But there it is. Out with the old. In with the old. <laughs> yeah, so take out the cluster. These two bolts up here. But it's a full, small little shit here. Morning, like Ali. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> You want it to be hella hot too. Yeah. We already done with interior already. Kinda. We just need the um the shift box, the, shift box, the, the, the clutch pedal, drill the master cylinder, and that's it. Oh yeah. Dude, we were pushing the car, dude. I was already sweating hella hard already. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, we're working to get this piece off. We got the two top bolts here. And then now there's four more bolts. Um, what two here and then um one there and one there and get these side off. Chris is here now. Oh, my boy Chris about to go to work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He just came by to visit us. Uh, your door handle. I think it's it's hard to come out because the there's the um Isn't there wires? Yeah wires in the back. Oh here there's three plugs, four plugs actually. Uh, I'll take the first one out already, but I gotta take this one out. That one. Just flip it the other way. Oh! Easy. There goes the automatic cluster. Taking that shit out. Let's go. Woo! They swam bullets out here, though. Automatic cluster. Uh, Manual cluster. Uh, see, these actual goddamn chef on this morning. Alright, so basically. So basically Tom wanted to keep his mileage. So we got another cluster. So the thing is that we about to swap this piece out, the RPM. So the way how to take it out is, uh, see all these clips up here? Yep. All these clips, you gotta push them out, just like that. See this one already came out. This one already came out. This further came out. You gotta take out the back piece on yeah, If anything, you take out the... No, we just have to take this off, right? No. Not really. That's just the cover. Wow. Got the manual one out already. Jeez. Shit, how the nigga do so fine? The driving yeah, you don't want a full gas to tank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Taking out these bolts that are holding in the V tech gauge. RPM. That and this. So. Should come right off, right there. Right, right, right. Alright, so we got the manual uh, RPM in your old cluster. In my old cluster, which keeps the yes. mileage. And now we're just assembling it in the other one and we're gonna go do whatever with it. But so, yep, we got the manual cluster for the prelude now. All of it has been screwed back on. These screws right here one, two, three. One, two, three. That's it, baby. Easy work, man. Come on. About to put it back inside the car. Should be easy. Uh, these these first four bolts first, and then the last two up here. Yeah, let's get it. Get it, dog. Put down the cracker. <laughs> Bam! First one there. Bam! So we got the connectors in. It's easy. You know, I think with this connector, you don't have to do anything. Just leave it out. Boy, Chris, and not to work. Right uh, by the windshield wiper. Bye, Chris.
All right, so the camera died, but we successfully put on the cluster. We put on the cluster, connected all the wires back there, and then now we moved on to taking out the axles. But first, started to unwire all the tranny, like all that shit for the transmission. So all this shit here, and all that here. Take out the battery, make some room, intake. Uh, Alex here is working the axle right now. There it is. Taking all the shit out. Yeah, I'm just put it back on. That's where we're at right now. We also drained the tranny fluid. Gonna take out these axles tonight in the tranny and then wait for all the parts to come back in. Alright, so taking out the axle on this side or whatever it's called. And this thing too. Taking that out. So this side is complete. Now we're just starting on the other side now, driver's side. Let's see how long it takes. All right, so it is 8.46. We started this around like two, two or one. Um, we're ready to take out all the axles, all of that stuff down there, taking off axles, seats, or whatever. Um, we organized out here. Yeah, pretty organized, <laughs> keep it clean, but we couldn't take off the tranny. We couldn't drop the tranny today because of this damn bolt. The damn one bolt that was stuck at the bottom. We just couldn't take it off. So, um, we're probably gonna wait until tomorrow or whenever we have time. We're probably gonna torch it. But yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys tomorrow to get this done. We're gonna drop the tranny and then maybe you guys will go with us to go pick up the transmission and the shifter shit. Let's get it. See these connectors? Take these off. All right, boom. Connectors behind this battery tray, right there. Take those off, boom. Start taking off your starter. One bolt there. Second bolt was like really deep in, really deep in behind there. Once you take these off, it should be totally fine now. Now you go towards the the axles. Okay, now you gotta take off the, you take off the driver's side axle, mid-shaft, passenger side axle. We also took off the shift linkage, as you can see. I don't know where that one was. My friend did it yesterday. The camera died though. Sorry about that. But he took that off and that's about it. It's super easy when you have friends to work on it with you and you learn. I'm not that good of a car guy myself. So it was really hard for me. But you know, my friend, he was helping me. We're both learning it together. A lot of you guys can do it. I know this is not a step-by-step -step video, but it will give you the gist of it. I still have to do all the wiring, the, the firewall and stuff, but hopefully your prelude has the, the reservoir. Oh, you need the re reservoir, this piece right here. Yep, you need this piece. This piece is very important. I think this is the reservoir. This connects to two piece there, and then that hose that was connected to the reservoir. Oh, fuck, they're doing some work over there, god damn it. The two piece that was, uh, this two piece right here, you connect it to the top of the clutch, the master cylinder. And... <laughs> yeah, they're back, bro. They brought the torch. Sheesh. Water, oh yeah, bring water, I ran out of water. There was a bolt on the transmission yesterday that we couldn't take off because it was like stuck or something. I'll show you right now. That bolt right there, right in the middle of the screen, was a bolt we couldn't take off. God damn. Right now, Alex is here. He's torching the bolt right now. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work, but... He is torching the bolt that I showed to you guys earlier. That bolt is what holds the transmission from the bottom, I believe. Oh, shit. That shit feel like my shit. So there's actually two more bolts back there. We're going to try to take those off as well because we can't take off the first one. Alright y'all, so we take a little detour. Because we're gonna take that bolt off, we went to Harbor Freight, got some tools, strip tool remover for this. We also got a torque wrench because I don't got it, but let's get to it. This shit. Oh! Yep. 
We got it. Woo! Finally, man. Yes, sir! Hot milk! Good Just shit. Good shit. We're all so accomplished. Alright, so we were able to take it off. This is what the bottom bowl we were struggling to look like. It's like this. Joe is currently trying to get the other one. Yep. <laughs> oh shit. If you got shoe, you could do it. Put on one side of your shoe, bro. Yeah. Put your strongest side. Hey. That shit rolling. Oh! Got that hoe. Woo! Let's go! Alright, we got all three bolts. These two on the right right here. And this fucking bitch has one right here. Alright, so these are the bottom bolts that you gotta take out. The dust shells. One. Wait, zoom out, dude. I fucking lost, bro. Oh, <laughs> These are the bottom bolts right here. One, two, three, um, four, um, five. I can't even see it. All right, so now we're taking off the ground to the tranny. So this is a, is a ten. So now we just try to take that thing off, and after that, we go to all those bolts on top of the tranny. Wait. Uh -oh. So this tranny bolt right here. There's one, and then two, and then three right here, and that's it. Don't even know where it's at. I can't even see it. All there. It's one bolt right there. So we took off. There's the bolt, bolt there that we took off. See the hole right there. The bolt there we took off. Um, there's another bolt down there that we took off. A little hole right there. The, the bottom one, bottom hole. And then there's another one right here that we haven't taken off. The red one, the red color one. But we're currently working on the flywheel. Take the flywheel off. Automatic flywheel. The automatic flywheel. There's like 10. The 10 bolt that's holding on to the flywheel and the only way we can take out the tranny is by taking out this little 10 bolt oh. and then once once we're dropping down the tranny it should just come right off and then uh yeah it should be good right there from there oh drop it now drop the tranny <laughs> this hose right here on the tranny that we need to take off This is currently down. This already weakened. Let's maintain this. Just so we can't place. Alright. Oh, Alright, so we successfully took off all the bolts and stuff on the top and the harness. Now we're ready to drop it. Oh. <laughs> Even nothing on there. We actually found the last, last bolt. It's the last 17 bolt right here to take off the whole tranny. And this is the for sure bolt right here that was missing. Uh, it took us a while though. But yeah, we got it. It's the last one right here, so I'm gonna get started with that bolt right there. I took a bolt. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never mind. That's good. As long as it's fucking out of here. Oh, it's leaking, dog. It's oh, yeah, leaking, dog. Oh, it's leaking! Hey, get rag, get rag! Rag, rag! Oh, God, I'm sorry! I can't flip this shit! Get home, you What's going on, y'all? So, it is currently, uh, crap, day three. Today is currently day three of the manual swap for the Honda Prelude. Um, so today it is very smoky, very smoky. Yeah, so these parts came in today. I ordered these these parts on Sunday, I believe, and they all came in today, maybe three days quicker. 
or two days before their uh, posted dates online. But stage one clutch. Um, this is a clutch master stage one and with a regular flywheel maybe in the future i might get a lighter flywheel but i'm under budget right now i'm trying to keep a budget of only you know 1000 and it's obviously working right now but yeah today we're about to go pick up the transmission from the guy he's all the way in livermore i'm in uh, smoky california but first we're just gonna clean the car with the vacuum because you know this interior is not it Look how nasty that stuff is. Oh my god. I don't know where my, uh, uh, crap, whatchamacallit, actual vacuum, like, big old vacuum is. So I'm gonna just use the, you know, vacuum for the house. And let's see how it goes. So this is how dirty it is. It's kind of clean now. Let's keep going. So Paul just got here. Paul is cleaning his headlights to his daily driver. Stay tuned for his Acura Integra video. There it is. Not the cleanest, but this will do better than the first time. Okay guys, well, Paul can't go with us. He has to, I'm gonna go pick up Dill, and then we'll be on our way. Oh, there's Dill, right there. The man himself. Yo, so we are at Tracy. Uh, we just came back from the ATM, I got 450 right here. We're about to head to the guy right now, so I'm gonna look at his address right now. This is that place, 19 minutes. All right, we'll be there in a bit. Yo, so we made it to his place. Um, he's like right there. He's only like one minute away, but we're gonna go see what's up with the tranny. We'll update you guys if we, if we get it or not, so yeah. We bought the manual transmission. Looks good, feels good. Uh, let me shut the light. Oh, he took the vehicle speed sensor. Oh, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's good, bro. So, he took the starter. This is the MK... F M... M2K4. M2K4. That is the Euro mount. Euro transmission for like a 1992 Prelude. But, um... Whatever. This will work for now. We got the tranny. And we also got the... Shift box, shift box here, shift linkage, long as fuck, let's go, successful bro, yep. let's get it, I got bought it from a flea market, <laughs> <laughs> got the shift linkage, see you on the next video.